Hi, I'm Dennis Phillips, and welcome to Everyday Reloading and Shooting. So I purchased these 223 caliber ELD match bullets for my Ruger American rifle. And it turns out that the load length on these is 2.39 inches, but my magazine length will only take up to 2.26 inches. So what I'm doing, I've done this before and they work just fine. I'm removing the polymer tip. So I have my sander set up, my disc sander and belt sander set up here. And I put this little jig on here so I can run this up against the edge and run that up against the sander. And that's the result but these fly just fine even without that tip. But now it'll fit my magazine, so I will load these, shoot them, and give you an update on how they perform. You can tell when it gets to the metal because you can actually hear the sound change when the sander reaches that metal part of the bullet. So what I did, I showed you a video where I removed the ballistic tip off of the bullet and I turned it into basically a boat tail flat point. So I'm going to weigh these. So that's 75.1 still, So as you can see, there's not much variance, only about a three-tenths of a grain variance between the lightest and the heaviest. So let's measure the overall length and see how that is. 0 0.964, 0 0.963, 0 0.964. 0.964, so we had one that was a little shorter, 0.963, but most of these are within a thousandth or so, 0.957, that's a little shorter, 0.960, but I still think these are going to shoot well, so we will load them up, test them, and find out. So after trimming off those ballistic tips, these were left with just a little bit of a burr around the very edge here. And I'm a little concerned about that interfering aerodynamically with the flight of the bullet. So I've taken this Dremel tool. It has a stone with a hollowed out portion on the end. And I've made this little jig here to hold the Dremel tool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bullet and I also sacrificed a case. I made a little cut in the case neck with the Dremel tool so I could insert the bullet, turn on the Dremel tool, And just go around the inside of that little divot there with it and now it's perfectly smooth and the burr is gone just 
go around the inside just go around and around like that and let it touch the edge of the bullet tip where the burr was and that removes the burr I feel the burr there and the burr is gone Feel a burr. And the burr is gone. So I've got a hundred of these overall to do. So I'll do those and then we'll load them and see how they shoot.